hello guys and girls and welcome back it's your boy big john and i'm here today to show you how you can easily catch swing trades using the neo indicator now i know you're gonna love this one guys and girls so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and switch on those notifications let's get straight into it okay first and foremost we are in the free telegram group and if you haven't joined this already the link will be in the description below and in here this week i was able to give up to 500 pips away with trade ideas showing you exactly what gold could be doing and pretty much how you could enter the market when a trade setup appears you can see here traders have managed to catch profit and not only gold i've actually been breaking down other trades in here as well one of them was us oil which has been absolutely fantastic this week and if you're not a fan of telegram you can easily join my free discord where i'm also giving any analysis or answering any questions that you need to know related to forex in here it's absolutely amazing for you to be able to learn some knowledge in this group the link for this will also be in the description below okay so the strategy i'm going to go over today is the neo trading strategy and i'm just going to be showing it on mt4 with neo the indicator expert advisor but if you want to understand the full neo trading strategy and how you can trade it using trading view you can easily watch this video over here where i explain it in full or you can go and watch this video over here as well where i also explain in full how to trade this strategy okay so right now we are on mt4 and we are going to be looking at the euro new zealand sell which was around about a 400 pip sell when neo actually gave you the idea to be able to take this trade setup so neo the indicator is an indicator expert advisor because it displays stuff on your chart just like an indicator but there's also an expert advisor that's being coded in an update patch for you to be able to take automatic trades when the setups do appear now you might be asking what do you mean by that so i'm going to explain to you exactly what you're going to have to wait for in order for you to take a trade setup it's quite simple so the first thing we're looking for over here is euro new zealand we can see that with the age and trend column it's actually bearish so we should only be looking for sell trade setups over here we have adr1 and adr2 which is showing us our take profit one as adr1 and our take profit two as adr2 that is the average daily range and it's actually how much price action can move in terms of pips in any given trading day so we're actually going to be using the adr from our entry to see how many pips we can be looking to take now when we go over to stop hunt one this is showing the four hour chart volatility and it's telling us hey you can pretty much be looking for a trade trade setup which is great because it's telling us that price action on the four hour chart is actually becoming weaker now we have stop hunt two here which is actually showing the one hour time frame and when you get both of these synced you have a very good trade setup kind of like how you can see it now and when it looks like this when a neo trade appears it's telling you hey this is a perfect trade you don't have to worry too much about stop hunt two once price action gets to its area we're really going to be focused on stop hunt one so me being fully transparent i actually took this trade setup around this area here but price action can continue to buy mainly because I should have waited for price action to go to a previous week's liquidity area that hasn't been grabbed before it's always best to do that so what we can see over here is that there was a liquidity area over here and if we zoom out there was also a liquidity area over here as well we can see this is what price action went to go and grab with this huge buy and when this does happen we've actually had our third confluence set up for a possible trade now our next confluence we're going to be waiting for is price action to actually break for our structure now because we saw this massive impulsive buy move and price action didn't create higher lows or lower lows at this area this is why neo is telling us our break of structures all the way down here now this isn't a problem like i've always said once you join neo you're going to get into the vip service and i'm going to help you understand how to read market structure so straight away we can see here that price action made a massive sell candle and then there was actually a low formed on the four hour chart with this candle this is how you can just be a bit more diverse with the indicator and straight away when we go down to the one hour time frame we can actually actually see price action broke on a four hour chart with this candle right over here now when price broke this level on a four hour chart with this one hour candle right over here it was telling us that four hour structure has been broken because again we went down to a lower time frame just to see where higher lows and lower highs are being formed now after that has actually happened now we have our fourth confluence we'll be looking for we want price action to now come back towards a supply area or a demand area this is automatically printed out for you with the multi time frame supply or demand indicator addition to neo and what you could have done at this point is easily have set a sell limit from this area here so as soon as price action got here you could have looked for your trade setup now if you don't want to do that because price action might be very volatile at that time you may want to wait for a break of structure by doing this this can actually help increase your win rate but what may happen is your stop loss might be slightly bigger of course if you entered with a sell limit you would have only had a 40 pip stop loss here but i will go into the 15 minute entry and you'll see that your stop loss will be slightly bigger just so i make sure i'm clear the only reason we've gone to the one hour chart 
chart rather than looking for supply and demand on the four hour time frame is because on the four hour time frame it wasn't actually printing a supply area so when that does happen you have to again be creative because every trade setup might be slightly different and all you'd have to do is go through the time frames and check what it looks like at that point so we can see here on the 30 minute time frame we also had a supply and we can see here on the 15 minute we also had a supply which was even a stronger level which was actually proven meaning that this is a very strong resistance so with just those four confluences alone you could have easily have taken a trade setup and from the entry point from the supply area again you would have been looking for 142 pips to tp1 or 285 pips to tp2 from that sell limit entry okay so right now we have strategy tester mode up and i've just changed the color of the dashboard here just so we can see the chart a bit more clear and you can see how this trade setup was looking at this time so we can see that again the age trend was bearish that is just this white color and we can see stop hunt one is also bearish and we can even see stop hunt two is also bearish at the time this trade setup did appear so all we're going to be doing is waiting for a break of structure on the 15 minute time frame at the supply area once the four hour structure had been broken so let's just fast forward price action okay so right over here this is where price action actually broke on the four hour time frame so all we will be doing is waiting for price action to create a supply area and from there we would be taking a 15 minute break of structure entry Okay, so now we have seen that this has actually formed here. And the beautiful thing about NEO, which is coming through in the patch update after the 17th of July, is all you need to do is switch on the auto trading button and the EA would automatically take a trade setup for you once a break of structure happens in a bearish direction. This is perfect because it can set your stop loss just above the last high and it can also automatically set either ADR1 or ADR2 for your take profit. And right over here, you can see there was a break of structure. So as soon as this break of structure did occur, which was around this point here the ea would have automatically taken a trade for you now of course the ea is not going to come out on the 17th of july but it will come out later so you just watching the chart and seeing this happen you could have easily have just entered this manually and now you'll be in a trade setup you'd be going for 267 pips right here from our entry we just need to measure out 267 pips so we can see 267 pips is around this area so 76468 is around about the area we're going to be looking for price action to get towards in order for us to see take profit two being here before i forget to mention it just remember we will be entering from here but this is why i said your stop loss would be bigger if you actually wait for a break of structure sometimes because of course price action will move away from that area giving you a stronger confluence that price action is reversing because we've seen a four hour break of structure and now we've seen a 15 minute extra break of structure in a bearish direction meaning that price action could be continuing this new four hour trend for the trades that we're looking for but you can see here if your stop loss is just above this level here it's about 100 pips if it's above this level here it would be about 63 pips And there we go, people. So if I measure out from our entry over here, all the way down to here, you can see price action is done well over TP2, which was 267 pips. Of course, it's the average daily range. So like I said before, every day, the average daily range is slightly going to go up or down by a couple of pips because it has to read the average of price action over a period of days. So right now, this is as simple as it gets. I'm telling you, I've shown you how you can trade with sell limits when it comes to these Neo Swing trades. And I've also shown you how you can trade hands-free with the expert advisor just letting it take the trade setup for you rather than waiting two hours for the 15 minute break of structure entry and even if you was trading manually you could have easily have just entered on the break of structure that i did mention so guys and girls if you do want to get into this product there's 19 spaces left i'm looking for an official release without the expert advisor on the 17th of july but i am going to be here every step of the way in order to help people that are in this that are in the group manage to trade neo the indicator this is the third strategy with neo and it is amazing as well you can catch very big swing trades like 500 pip trades or even more sometimes it depends in december i gave away a thousand pip trade on the jpys when we saw the bank of japan did a massive sell so i hope you love this one guys and girls you're going to get all of the vip services as well if you get this product and all you have to do is direct message me in telegram or discord to get yourself one of those 19 slots do not miss out while the price is this cheap and all i can say is don't forget to hit that like button share subscribe drop a comment and hit those bell notifications. It's your boy, Big John, and I am out. Peace.
started from the bottom like Drake Got that young Mula, but I learned my mistakes Hiding up the ladder, gotta watch out for the snakes If you wanna be the boss, then you have to delegate